Well, hello and welcome to another episode of A Funny Kind of Grown-Up. Uh, this, for those of you that haven't met him before, is my boy Toby. Hello. And today is our first travel day for our trip to New York and Florida. So we are getting a train to Manchester Airport where we're going to be staying in the Ibis budget. And I'll give you a full room tour of that. Uh, but first of all, we have to go to the EE store because Toby's phone's not working. So, <laughs> uh, so we're going to go a quick trip to Blackpool and the next time we see you guys, we should be on a train to Manchester Airport. One long and slightly stressful trip to the EE store later, we got to Poulton train station in the nick of time. Yeah, I've just boarded the train to Manchester Airport. Excuse the hat hair, I've had hat on, it's cold. Um, so luggage is there, waiting for us. And uh, yeah, just on our way to Manchester Airport. Woo! I'm a Spurgeon. After some dinner in the restaurant, we decided to have a couple of drinks and then head to bed ready for our big travel day tomorrow. We are at Manchester Airport. We're about to go through to Terminal 2. Uh, we did twilight check-in last night, so we dropped our cases off with the lovely guys at the Virgin... Virgin? Virgin Atlantic um, twilight check-in. So we're just here with small bags and a rucksack, which I'm going to admit I'm a bit nervous about because normally when they say personal item, I always think handbag, but then on previous flights, I've seen people with these like massive handbags or rucksacks, and I'm thinking, well, if they can get away with it, surely I can. So we'll see. We'll see if I'm crying and I've had to try and pack all my stuff into my carry-on uh, in, in a couple of hours. Uh, so we've got fast track security. We're going to go through security now, and then the next time I pick you up, we'll probably, unless there's a problem, be in the lounge uh, where we will be enjoying... The freeness. Well, it's not really free to pay for it, but I paid for it a few months ago, so it feels free. Um, our flight has been delayed, so we can't actually go through to security yet. Um, so we've just had a, a brew in Starbucks. Um, and we're just waiting. In about 10 minutes, we should be able to go through security. Um, and then we can get in the lounge and have some free stuff. We have landed in the escape lounge. Um, it's lovely. If you can see behind me, um, planes, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got a gin. Toby has had one glass of wine. He will certainly be having another one. Uh, but it's lovely in here. Really nice, really relaxed, dead, dead chill atmosphere. A um, little bookcase full of books that I don't actually know if you're meant to read. Um, but yeah, I've had a nice salty, bacony, sausagey sandwich for my breakfast. And um, we're just putting our feet up now and waiting for the flight. Next stop should hopefully be the airplane. There she is, that's our plane. Going to be getting on her in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. How you feeling? So excited. <laughs> We had a great flight with Virgin Airlines. It took about seven hours and 15 minutes to get to New York from Manchester. The food was nice, the drink kept coming, and there was loads of films to watch. There it is. Just coming into land. Look at the thing. Yeah. 5,000 metres and dropping gently. Nine metres. Nine minutes, sorry. To New York. Um, so we are still waiting in the queue. We've been in this TSA line for, for the security line for about an hour and a half now. We're not far from the front, so we should hopefully be uh, through security soon, as long as they don't deem either of us a major threat to the US. Um, and then we'll be getting a taxi um, from the taxi rank. Couldn't think of the word then and uh, then heading to the Manhattan at Times Square. So we've made it through the um, security, which was fun, and we are now in the line waiting for a taxi, uh, proper yellow one like them outside, and we will hopefully be at our hotel in about an hour, um, give or take rush hour traffic. Um, but there is a thing you've got to be very careful of here, is you've got people just sort of wandering around trying to get you to, um, they're going, oh, do you need an Uber? So you don't call an Uber from a randomer stood in the airport. You get an Uber from an app. Um, so just be careful. There are a few scams and people trying to get you to get in dodgy vehicles. So just be aware. We didn't have to wait for long to jump in a yellow cab. 
A yellow taxi has a flat fare of $72 plus taxes, tips and tolls. So in total, it's probably going to cost you about $100 to get to Midtown. Okay, so we've arrived, we've checked in. We'll talk about the hotel later because I don't want to go back into another bad mood. We are on the iconic red steps at Times Square, just sort of taking it all in, really. I'm fairly knackered. We have had a Nathan's hot dog, um, but I'm still jonesing for more food. But I think I'm just really tired now. Um, but yeah, I mean, this place is mental. You could stand here and look at shit and never run out of new things to spot. This is bonkers, but I love it. Very excited to be stood outside at Joe's Pizza. I've seen this on loads of YouTube videos and uh, we're gonna get ourselves a pie and see what it's like. When I tell you this place was packed, these pictures don't do it justice. It was mental. The pizza was gorgeous. There are no photos of me eating the pizza because I ate it and immediately went to sleep. There is, however, plenty of footage of me looking at pizza, carrying pizza, just no actual proof that I ate it. But I promise you we did. It was gorgeous. Joe's Pizza deserves all the plaudits it gets. Hey, I'm walking here, was a thing I never actually said. Okay, so we are day one uh, in New York. And me and Toby have decided to just have a bit of an hour of separate wandering. So I'm just randomly wandering and have come across the Christmas tree at uh, Rockefeller Plaza, which is still up on like the 11th of January, which is a bit weird. Um, so yeah, just down there you've got the skating rink. They are pouring water on at the moment. Um, it's a lunar new year, according to Kate Spade. Um, so just while I'm here, and apparently decided that standing under a speaker was the exact right place to do this. Um, just a little word about a hotel. It's fine. Uh, well, first of all, when we got into our room, it was a a double room, not a twin room, and they were trying to say that that's what our um, travel agent had booked, but I had the paperwork to say that was not what they booked. Um, so they, first of all, they said they were sold out and they couldn't move us, and then there was a room they could move us to, but there's a chance that for our last night we'll have to move into a double room. The room is fine. It's a bit, it's old, it's dated. It's not dirty, everything works. It is a nice, cheap place to stay. I mean, I had a lovely sleep in the bed, but I'm fairly confident if you gave me a pile of nails to sleep on, I'd have slept well last night because I was knackered. Um, we did go into Times Square yesterday and uh, have a bit of a browse around. It was really busy. So the plan for today is we're going to go to the Brooklyn Bridge and to that spot in Dumbo where everybody gets the picture taken. Then we've got a cruise round the harbour books at Harps One. Um, and then this evening, we're going to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Um, which I'm super excited about. Uh, we won, they do a, a lottery, so about a week in advance, you apply for lottery tickets and you can get seats for like $40, uh, which is unheard of because they're like $200. So we won the Harry Potter lottery. We did also enter the Hamilton lottery, but we didn't win that one. So tonight we're going to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, um, which is very exciting. Anyway, I've got to say battery power because I'm definitely going to need my phone to tell me where to go in this giant amazing city we caught the subway down to dumbo which was really easy had a little photo shoot and then walked across the brooklyn bridge on our way to our harbour line cruise around the island toby and i are on a classic harbour line cruise um the cruise was about 64 dollars each and you get a free drink and you get a lovely table to sit at and there's areas at the front where you can like go and stand outside or you can sit in and look at all the views and uh, I mean this is absolutely stunning and a lot nicer than some of the sort of cattle class cruises that you get where you're all crowded and you're all got to stand outside the whole time and, uh, so we're going to go and see the Statue of Liberty and the sort of Manhattan from the water that kind of thing uh, so yeah this is classic Harbour Line cruises uh, 60 Four dollars. Not sponsoring this video. I had to pay for it. Um, so I drink my wine. Toby's got a little champagne, and uh, yeah, this, that's the view of uh, Manhattan behind us. And we're heading towards the statue. There she is, Lady Liberty. So we just had some pictures taken on the bow of the boat, and it's really windy. 
I've just come in and the sun's shining on it, which looks beautiful. Over there, that is where Toby and I walked this morning. That's the Brooklyn Bridge. We are about to go under the Brooklyn Bridge, but this morning we went over the Brooklyn Bridge. And this feels like an episode of Sesame Street. After we docked back at the piers in Chelsea, it was time to go back to the hotel and get ready to watch Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. As a massive Harry Potter fan, I was incredibly excited about this. And even though I had some kind of weird dizzy spell in the theatre, it did not put me off. However, bear in mind this show is three and a half hours long, so not necessarily for everyone, but definitely for me. Good morning from day two in New York City. I am just waiting for Toby. We're going to go for breakfast at the famous Ellen's Stardust Diner. Uh, last night we went to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Oh my God, it was absolutely amazing. The effects, some of the accents were questionable, but then we're British people questioning American people doing British accents, so always going to be a little bit difficult. Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, that was really good. And we are now going to head off and have some breakfast. And then today, the plan is Central Park, and then we are going to Summit. Uh, so we will keep you abreast of developments. Ellen's was fantastic, to the point where I went back there again for breakfast on my own one day when Toby didn't want to go. These performers are incredible. However, bear in mind that every hour they pass a bucket round asking for donations for dance classes. So try not to stay longer than an hour or it could be an expensive trip. So we are here in Central Park. It's, um, oh God, it's massive. Um, and there's squirrels everywhere. And there's a really awesome busker. Like, you don't get buskers of this quality in most places. Um, we are off to Summit 1 Vanderbilt today, which is our observation deck that we've booked, um, which is quite exciting. Uh, this morning, oh, I will insert some footage, but we went to Ellen's Stardust Diner for breakfast. Um, first of all, we had cake for breakfast, essentially. It was like pancakes with like frosting in between them and bacon on them, and it was, it was cake for breakfast, um, which, you know, I'm here for it. And um, then we walked, <laughs> we walked about three miles in the wrong direction before Toby realised that we were in fact walking away from Central Park and not towards Central Park. Um, so we got the subway, which is super easy by the way. You literally just like get your watch and tap in. It's the same as the tube in London. So you tap in, tap out. Um, and we've got the tube a few times and it's been, re sorry, the subway a few times. And it's been really easy, really straightforward. Uh, we have tried to do a load of walking, but essentially when you've walked for three miles in the wrong direction, it's time to get a tube. It's a squirrel! It's attacking Toby! It's not, it's running away from Toby. Go, Mr. Squirrel! We did loads of film and TV location spotting. It was great fun. Loads of places to eat. Wish we'd have more time to spend there, but onwards. Ladies and gents, we are at Grand Central Station. This is quite a thing. Um, as train stations go, it's pretty bloody fancy. Uh, I don't have very much exciting to say about it, apart from, ooh, and look at things. And isn't it pretty? Very nice. Uh, we're going to summit in a second. We just wanted to stop in here because it's next door and uh, have a look. It's massive. Going up there. Summit One Vanderbilt was a fantastic observation deck, not too expensive and a beautiful location. So folks, we are level one, well it's not, it's level 91 of the uh, summit. Um, this is the view so far and we've got another two floors to go up yet. Um, yeah, it's incredible and a little bit scary and wow. It's part observation deck and part interactive art experience. With various things to look at, interact with, you will see the ballroom next where we spent absolutely hours batting silver balls around and having photo shoots. And most importantly, and to my great amusement, Toby hit an old lady with a silver ball and we had to run away. What did 
you do? It's already a hit her in the face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then the package that we booked, which was $64 each, included a signature cocktail. So I have a margarita at sunset, which is very nice. I'm on my second one. It's very potent. Toby is staying a respectful distance away from me because I've had two of these. Um, but it's, yeah, it's beautiful up here. It's, I mean, it's busy, I'm not gonna lie. It's really quite crammed in here as people wanna watch sunset. Um, but definitely worth doing. This might be my favourite thing I've done today. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and we've got some gorgeous pictures, um, which I will show you later. I'm going to enjoy my margarita. Look at that. Empire State Building, this is stunning up here. As well as the signature cocktail, we also got the photo package for about $15, meaning that we got some professionally taken pictures up there, as well as our own little mini photo shoot. Summit was fantastic, and I'd absolutely recommend it as your observation deck of choice. As we walked back to the hotel, we decided to stop off at Rockefeller Plaza to take pictures with the tree as it was getting taken down the next day. Then we were going for food and sleep. Well, we are on our last day here in New York before we fly over to Florida. Um, so what I wanted to try and do was get like an authentic New York breakfasty diner experience. So I've come down to Hell's Kitchen. This is my breakfast. It's a Greek omelette, some lovely toast and some coffee. I need to tell you about this place, the Westview Diner. I've just had an absolutely gorgeous Greek omelette, um, like free coffee refills, came with toast and um, these fried potato things. It's absolutely stunning. The exact authentic sort of New York breakfasty type thing I've been looking to do. So we are, I'll give you a bit of a, a tour around so you can see where we are. Um, you should be able to search this place. It's across the road from Rudy's Bar and Grill, which has got the pig outside. Um, but if you want something that's not quite as sort of commercial is that the right word uh, this place was really good um i shall insert shots of food um but I'm, I'm really full now and we're off to rise ny which is a museum all about new york the iconic place that is times square and it's really difficult to actually capture this properly on camera just the sort of hugeness and the incredibleness i mean it's just amazing i love it um there's a little group doing some a cappella singing over there. Just, it's got to be seen to be believed. Just see it in a million films, TV shows, etc. Um, but yeah, you've got to actually come here to believe it. Um, Toby and I went for some food at Olive Garden last night, um, which was delicious. Um, yeah, just having a bit of a whoa moment. NY. That was really good. It's basically a history of New York. Uh, really, really interesting and a fantastic surprise at the end, um, which they don't really telegraph it, so I'm not going to ruin it. Um, but yeah, it was good. Uh, well worth the money. And one of the YouTubers that I follow, Sarah Funky, uh, if you put Funky 5 in when you're paying, you get $5 off. Uh, so obviously I'm not being sponsored, uh, but I got that $5 off, so you probably should too. I'm here on Fifth Avenue. We are having a bit of a wander down. I'm uh, bringing down the price of whatever price tag is on this thing in the window of Tiffany's. Uh, opposite me, we've got Chanel, we've got a Prada, a Abercrombie Fitch. Toby is off buying a coffee in Trump Tower. There will be a photo of him holding this coffee soon, but I refuse to give that guy one red cent of my money. Um, so not going there at all. Uh, so yeah, we're on Fifth Avenue. It's very, very expensive. Um, and Toby's having the time of his life. So 
Uh, that's good. We've also booked tickets to go and see shows tonight. Toby's going to go and see Shucked. Um, and because I didn't want to go and see Shucked, I'm going to go and see Back to the Future the Musical. Um, so very excited to see that. And then we're going to have another meal in the in Ellen's Stardust Diner. And then it was time to pack and head to Florida. So whilst I'm sitting here at Tiffany's, I will give you a little update on the hotel situation. So last night we uh, we moved rooms. Um, we were told that we would have to move rooms because of the problem with the booking that I told you about earlier. So we've moved rooms to pretty much the same room, three floors up, but the bed feels like a sack of potatoes. The shower is full of somebody else's hair. Um, the TV doesn't work. Half the plug sockets don't work. It's really not... Um, it's not a great hotel. You can see why a lot of people book it. I mean, it's fully booked. But you can see why a lot of people book it, but you can also see why a lot of people would only go there once. Um, the staff are as pleasant as they can be, but I guarantee you they spend their entire day at work getting yelled at by people who haven't got the room they booked or the you know the the correct thing or that the rooms are dirty or that there's something missing um oh you know, yeah toby had to go out and buy a cup last night because there were no cups in our room and the queue at reception was that big because they've only got one person on and everybody's complaining that he was stood in the queue for 15 minutes when he decided to sack it off and actually go and buy an iheart nyc mug just so <laughs> so that we could have a drink um so yeah really not great um, and the first room, at least the bed was comfortable um, and I was sleeping quite well. And this second room, seriously, it's like a sack of potatoes, this bed. It's just lumpy, lumpy, lumpy badness. Um, but it's only one more night and then we're off to Florida tomorrow. So I will put up with it. Um, but I feel very sorry for the staff who get yelled at a lot, clearly. Um, they have up, they've, they've done up three floors of this hotel and that's it. The rest of it is a scruffy mess. Okay, there's a guy in a Donald Trump outfit. Literally directing traffic. Which I think is quite funny. Okay, so just a little short one. Um, Toby and I are in the plaza tonight. Now, I didn't know you can actually come into the plaza lobby. You can't go into the main like hotel. That's just for guests. But you can have tea here in the little cafe thing. I have not asked how much because I fear if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Um, and I have to ask. So we are just resting our tired little feet and watching the other people live. Toby has lived his Audrey Hepburn moment outside Tiffany's, which I will show you here. Yeah, we're just resting our feet in the plaza and there are much worse places to rest your feet. Next stop was Bryant Park Winter Village for some yummy hot chocolate and then it was time to get ready for the theatre. I was very excited to go and see Back to the Future, the musical. <laughs> here in New York. Uh, I'm heading back to the hotel which is there uh, to pick up our cases and then we're going to fly with Delta Airlines over to Orlando. So yeah, New York's definitely got to be seen to be believed. Um, I've eaten a billion calories but I've also walked I think about 80,000 steps in three days. So you know we're hoping one's going to offset the other. Um, so I'm heading back to the hotel now to get packed up and then it's time for Florida. Well, folks, that is New York done. 
Uh, we have checked into JFK Airport to fly to Orlando. Um, hopefully this guy's not actually flying the plane. Um, so we've got a cup of coffee, we've got through security, nice and straightforward. Um, taxis to and from the airport, about $100. Um, I would say that's probably worth it if you've got big bags. You can do it on the subway, it's about $20 each, but the bag situation, there's so many steps, I wouldn't fancy doing it. Anyway, I'll talk a little bit more about that when I wrap up the whole holiday, um, but we are going to go and get our flight now to Orlando, and so the next time you see us, we will be hopefully in considerably warmer climes. Uh, for, so, until then, I will remain a funny kind of grown-up. It's actually really quite painful. Look at that. One Red Bull, one that's water, and one bag of Doritos. Extra large, my arse. It's a normal size. It's $15. Toby's really struggling with New York pricing. I'm not paying tips. Nah, sorry.